Hey guys, welcome to another heavy metal diecast video. And today we have here is a 172nd scale from Emicom. It is the MiG-15. Um, the MiG-15, also codenamed, codenamed Faggot um, by NATO. <laughs> I hope I don't get uh, uh, banned by for saying that, but that that is actually what the uh, NATO code name is for those that are unaware. Um, this was a Russian-made jet fighter and was one of the first to introduce the swept wing design. Um, it was introduced into Russian service in 1949 and it would find itself in many other communist countries' air forces. It would actually, you know, eventually find itself facing the F-86 Sabre over the uh, skies of Korea in the first jet versus jet dogfights. And what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll get this uh, MiG-15 out of the box. And this is as it comes out of the box. It does come in the standard sort of blister packet. So you just you know, take that piece off as per usual. And it does come with a sort of a pretty generic stand. And this one doesn't even have anything on it whatsoever. And as I said, this is by Amacom. I paid $40 for this. So I bought this off eBay. And um, that was including the shipping and everything to me. So we'll just uh, grab this little uh, little guy out. And um, it's it's be actually believed to be one of the most produced jet fighters um, with over 13,000 aircraft in all variants being made. And um, some examples are still flying. Um, they are in the North Korean Air Force, of course, and uh, but in a trainer role. So, But uh, some are still being used. But uh, Look, overall, it's um, the paintwork on it is not too bad. We'll have a bit of a close look at it. We'll check out those panel lines. So obviously this is from the Russian Air Force. And um, I think overall, it's, for $40, it's it's not too bad. The uh, panel lines and everything are fairly neat. Uh, it does have some you know, bit of coloration in the, in the cockpit area as well. Um, we'll flip it over on its back and have a bit of a look underneath there. And as you can see, it is in already in uh, fixed gear down position. Uh, it does not have an option for having it in flight or anything like that. These are all uh, glued hard into place, and that's how it comes. Same with the ordnance is all on it, and um, it's ready ready to go. The, the wheels themselves do not roll. They are fixed as well, and um, it, it is a fairly basic sort of looking aircraft, It's uh, but I think overall it's it's fairly well done. It's it's virtually pretty much that uh, silver finish or the, the bare metal sort of finish, and um, I think it's, you know, for what it is, it's not too bad. It's a... Little MiG-15, um, I think I think overall it's really nice for, for as I said, for what it is. Um, the, uh, the eventual replacement of this, the MiG-17, is very similar to this as well. But um, I think, uh, you know, for, yeah, 40 bucks, it's a pretty good little rendition of the MiG-15 fag <laughs> faggot. Um, all right, I'll, I'll just leave it at that. I'll, I'll keep this one short and sweet. Uh, I'll uh, just chuck it on the stand quickly for you. Just goes in that little location hole there. It's very straightforward and bang, job done. And it sits there nicely. Look, I, I think it's, you know, fairly decent. As I said, it cost me $40 Australian and that was including the shipping. I bought this on eBay, had the fly over from China. And um, I, I think it's not too bad for what for what it is. So it is by Amacom. It is 172nd scale die cars and it is the... Uh, the MiG-15, I'll just yeah, keep it at that, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it uh, was helpful in some sort of way. If you did like it, throw us a like, and um, even subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so, and YouTube, please don't ban me for using that word, because NATO used it first. All right, guys, <laughs> thanks very much for uh, watching the video and dropping past. Take care, everyone. Cheers.